this latest attack is just scraping the surface. Despite countless campaigns across Merseyside in the last year, knife crime is still a major problem. The latest figures to be released show little change, with more than 1,400 attacks involving knives. It's not just about the police, it's about all agencies, both voluntary, public sector, agencies within the criminal justice system have got to work together to try and tackle issues such as this. So if, you know, the, the issue is that you, you've got to all speak to each other, I suppose. So the, whilst if you were to, if you were a voluntary organisation and you went off on a, a, a off to do sort of a knife campaign, whilst there may be some effect, you've got to deal with it all together and you've got to all speak from the same sheet. So, you know, there's places for everybody to help with this. There are gun crime, gun amnesties and knife amnesties. And you'll see the knife bins in uh, custody suites where members of the public can go in and surrender a knife. Well, they have some effect, but it's limited, certainly around knives, because if I give up a knife, I can just go and get one. I can get one from the kitchen drawer and that's the problem. These were the results of a knife attack last July that left Stuart Newton fighting for his life. He suffered multiple stab wounds when he was attacked outside a music festival in Southport. He says campaigning is not all we can do to help solve the problem. If this is the reality is, knives are the new fashion trends. And, yeah. and that is something that we really need to really focus and get get strict on that this is a fashion trend because this is a fashion trend that's taken lives you know these kids will carry them just to say oh look at my mind's better than yours with no intention of wanting to use it yet to show a bit of respect they'll easily pull it if they're having an argument in a place they'll pull it and then someone you know it it can just happen as quickly as that yeah but it, it is it's it is the tip of the iceberg believe me the latest knife crime figures are due to be released next week, but it is feared the impact of COVID could create a false sense of security. This is Izzy Cairns for JMU Journalism.